Okay, this is day 73. No, just kidding. Um, this is the uh, antenna mast that I have built, and basically I'm going to try to show some video here, and then I got a bunch of pictures on the website that you can take a look at. It's a EMT, electrical, ma um, electrical metal tubing. This is an inch and a quarter. This is um, two inches here, and this is two and a half inches, and they all telescope. It'll be 50 feet tall when it's uh, elevated. Right now it's about uh, 21 feet tall. I've got the top section sticking out a foot and the second section sticking out a foot. I thought that would be prudent to do that. In any case, um, I put the thing together. There's a horizontal view. And basically what I have is I have a bunch of uh, cables. Uh, these are stainless steel cables. This runs through a pulley and then it runs back through a cutout in here, straight down, cut out inside the pipe that then pulls the pipe up. So this pipe right here is drawn out by the uh, cable. As you pull the cable, the pipe moves pretty easily, actually. And then uh, let me get this put together. Oh, come on. Sorry about the camera work. One man band. Um, the EMT is galvanized pipe. And what I did is I welded it with uh, suitable precautions. Actually, I used a TIG welder tungsten inert gas and then I welded it so that all the pipes will fit inside of each other. Each section of this pipe I took and cut a one foot section of, split it down the middle so it was smaller and then stuffed it inside. So inside this two and a half inch piece of EMT is another piece of two and a half inch EMT cut longitudinally and then collapsed so that it would fit inside here and make a sleeve I then welded this together and then I plug welded it in uh, three points on each side so that the sleeve was anchored to the pipe and to the other pipe so that the joint here wasn't going to carry all the stress. This is a uh, Harbor Freight's finest uh, boat clamp or what do you call it, uh, pulley arrangement. And what happens is when you wind this up, you start to pull on the cable. As you pull on the cable and you draw it down, it makes the pipes extend. Let's take another look at the beginning. Okay, if you'll notice, I have it pretty much fully collapsed. This clamp is against the second pipe. This clamp's against the first pipe. So what I've done is I've set it up so you can see what happens when you start to crank it. It's got a lot of mechanical gain here. I don't know what this is. It looks like maybe 30 to one on the pulley. So as I crank this up, you can see the cable moves fairly slowly and get it to be focused here. Come on now. So it goes up really slowly. For safety precautions, what I have done in the design is I put a hose clamp, a cable clamp in here. So when this gets down to the pulley, I know to stop. That's number one. Number two, each of the pipes that are extending, the cable pulls from a section four feet from the bottom. So I cannot pull this pipe up higher than four feet here or four feet here. So I have a minimum overlap of four foot between inner pipe and outer pipe. So it can't possibly come out A and B, it'll have enough support that it won't kind of bend over at the top. This is over 60 thousandths inch thick. Now, I've cranked it up a little bit. If you take a notice, You'll see where the top hat's sitting. This used to be all the way up against here. And the real beauty of this system is with two pipes and two pulleys, when I crank up the length of this to go in this case about 18 inches, the other pole goes 18 inches. So I get a two to one mechanical lengthening. Not quite an advantage because you're doing the work, but as you crank it up, the center section moves up twice as fast as the inner section. And that's because the top section has a cable tied to the first section. So as the second section moves along and the second section goes further away from the base, which is over here, as this moves away, the pulley also moves away, which is anchored to the first one. This pulley makes the second one move up. So when the cable pulls back, 
one foot and extends this a foot, this pulley moves a foot. And when it moves a foot, this cable's arrested here. It makes the center section move up a foot. So it came out real good. It took me a fair amount of time. I had to do some planning. Um, if you're gonna repeat this, I would suggest you consider two and a half inch EMT, two inch EMT, and one and a quarter inch EMT. When I put the sleeves in there, everything looked great. Uh, this is uh, one of my sections that didn't work out. You can see how the sleeve goes inside of here. Well, what had happened was when I did my plug weld, much to my dislike, you see the little white spot down there? Hoping we can focus on that. That little spot right there is part of the plug weld and you can see it in relief here. It sticks out inside, which made my dimensions wrong. Otherwise, I could have used an inch and a half in the top section. Well, this little bump in here prevented me from putting one and a half inch material in there. It was uh, just too, too tight. So I had to go to one and a quarter inch material. Now we're good to go. So that's what happened there. So we're all tickled with this. It's gonna be uh, put together. And what I'm gonna do is I have a tilt over mast base and the base is gonna clamp onto here. Then I'll walk this thing up. And after I walk it up, I'll secure it. I gotta do the trigonometry to figure out how much each of the guy ropes is gonna be. I'll get all the guy ropes cut pre-installation. I'll tie them onto those discs, which I got at the ham fest. And then that'll give me the guy supports ready-made so I can put this up on a calm day, get it anchored down at the base. And then after that's done, I can uh, secure it. Then I'll crank it up to its full height of 50 feet. That's uh, three sections of 20 foot pipe. The outside piece is 20 feet long approximately, and the two inner pieces are 20 feet long, but I'm only gonna allow them to extend 15 feet a piece. Wanna be more conservative there. So I got five foot of overlap, even though the cables are set at four feet. So what that means is <clears throat> I'll have 15 plus 15 plus 20, be a total of 50 feet high. And all of that is to uh, give me a mast support on the far side of the house where I have a uh, pole right now that got ravaged by the hurricane. And what I've got is a 860 foot horizontal loop. And this will be the north east corner. So that's what it looks like. And uh, we've got one more of these to go on here. <sighs> This is the one for the top pole, and this is the one for the second pole, and that's for the third pole. So we got three sets of guys. Um, better safe than sorry. We use uh, black, uh, it's not nylon, it's uh, Dacron, I think it is. It's real good sunlight proof rope. So I'll get the photos together and we'll get this thing hung up and we'll go to another sh photo shoot. So there you have it putting together a self-climbing mast. Okay, the weight, the weight to all total is about 110 pounds. That's including the weight for the pulley arrangement and the cables and the uh, little ring couplers and everything else. The metal poles assembly uh, came out about 100 pounds, but uh, I tried using schedule 40 and I, I came out about 225 pounds for the design and I just couldn't lift that. So I said, nope, we're gonna make it with EMT. Um, TIG welding EMT takes a, a bit of effort. You gotta get all the zinc off before you even start. And you gotta know how to weld. So it's a two banana problem. It's not something any uh, standard monkey's gonna fix. You gotta be able to put some of this together. And unfortunately, EMT is available in 20 foot lengths, but not in my region. So if I wanted to get it, I have to go down to Louisiana, which is not gonna happen. So, there we have it. This is Woody, you have a good day, bye.